Let's do. Let's do, let's do a, Skyrim. Let's do a retrospective of sorts. Cool. I'm gonna be no help. I've never played this game. Oh well. Okay. So tell me a little bit about it, Bud. Um, Seeing as you're an expert. It's it made a lot of memes happen. Yeah, yeah, it did. That was that was. I have to admit, one of the reasons I didn't pick it up. Just too many memes. It it was a very serviceable meme machine, which, frankly, the Elder Scrolls series has kind of always been. Yeah. What else can you tell me about it? Um, it's a uh, hack and slash open world RPG. Uh, that is pretty serviceable. Not great. Has some interesting bits. Uh, but generally kind of uh, blandish, spread thin, but easy to get still easy to still get lost in and just spend hours and hours and hours. So a worse version of Fallout 4 then. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I I I would say it's. Oh man, uh, I'd say Fallout 4. Uh, yeah, Fallout 4 has guns, which honestly, I wish there was a good mod for guns in Skyrim, but there isn't. Uh, but I'd, I'd, I'd still I'd still say like in terms of like actual RPG world content, I'd say New Vegas is still probably the top uh, Bethesda property. Well, that was, um, yeah, the guys, wasn't it? Obsidian? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was. Uh, interactive cutscenes. Gotta love them, right? <laughs> you, you say interactive, but... And people, like, on every design level, people kind of agree that this intro is possibly the worst. Yeah, I can... I understand, like, the idea of it from, like, a design perspective. Like, it does give a really nice sort of intro to the world. It's, it's sort of steeped in a certain level of atmosphere generation. But in terms of, like telling the player what they what they're going to be doing it's just like well you're stuck you're here yeah and, i mean it, and here's some stuff where you just don't do anything for a while yeah i don't know like it's a, not a, a better it's not, a, it's not a strong start <laughs> no i mean they probably could have done something very similar to this and had the player like actually walk down that passage maybe i don't know like have them fight something that came at the guards. I mean, there's an un un unarmed skill in this, isn't there? I don't know. Honestly, it's been it's been months and months since I've played. Well, making the assumption that there is some form of like unarmed you can, skill, you can it, punch things. Certainly. You can do it. Well, yeah, there you go. Um, then yeah, you just have them, you know punch something to death on the way down and then you walk into this town and but, but also also in terms of happens. in terms of the dialogue there's a lot of references to things we don't really understand and all it does is sort of make you go huh and not really contextualize much other than something's good something's bad but either way we're all going to die which kind of I thought that was the entire point of Skyrim actually everything sucks and then you die well, everything sucks, and then you make everything else die because it sucks. Typical RPG, then. Yeah. What's new about this is mostly it seems to be a uh, graphical upgrade, but I'm on medium because this game tried to make me go ultra, and I was like, mm, no. I wonder if they just kind of figured anyone who was downloading this game would have like. A PC that would just well, they, they have they ultra. have an auto detect thing, but auto detect uh, things are very notorious for sort of uh, 
overestimating. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah they it's want still, to, like... It's still pretty sharp on medium. I'll, I'll definitely give it that. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look bad. Who are you? Who am I? Well, good question. Seriously, no one just... There we go. So seeing that being like, wait, no one's just gonna shoot him or whatever? Yeah. Man, yeah, I'd, uh... I don't want to spend too much time, because... Be Khajiit! Yeah, I mean, why not be one of... to animals? What the hell is Breton? Bretons? Well, I'm glad you asked. You have no idea? Uh... They're from a place called High Rock, and they're magical. Descriptive. They have an innate resistance to magic, I guess? That's kinda neat. I mean, every race has these little, uh... These little bonuses. The Khajiit have a certain natural stealthiness, and, uh... Dark vision. That's fair. Um, hmm. I guess it depends on what I like archetype you want to play. I, I I'm not even gonna think too hard right now. I'm just gonna be like, let's just pick a thing. Apparently, bow stealth is like ridiculously overpowered. But that's just what, like, random internet denizens have said. Oh yeah, there you go. Apparently Din says there is some form of unarmed version, unarmed skill in this game. Yeah, because you'd have claw attacks, so... Buff Khajiit. I don't know, I'm liking just how this looks already. I don't need to tweak too much. I'm okay with most of this. Yeah. I have to say, I think I like this sort of character generation where it's just all sliders and it's very easy versus the sort of Fallout 4 one, which is um a lot more sculpty. Yeah. I think they have their ups and downs. Character creation is just always weird. Yeah. Fisty's cat food. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how you'd solve that as like a um from like a design perspective, how you sort of make character generation more What's the word I'm looking for? Natural, I guess. I mean, I guess if you had a sci-fi narrative, it wouldn't be, like, too hard to do, but... Because you'd just be, oh, you know... You're in this, like, cosmetic pod. Tell it what you want. But with something like this, it seems like there should be a more natural way of doing it. I just don't know how. Yeah. Uh, give me a name. Any name. Uh, I don't know. George? Nope. Why did I want the Steam overlay? I don't even think I pressed those. If it helps, it's not coming up on the uh, on the stream. Now it is. Tiger says, "Um, Bado." Ah, oh, dang it! That would have been perfect. Yeah, no, I should have thought of that. Khajiit has words if you have coin. Khajiit's gonna be dead, coin or not. What? Uh, That's bullshit! Hey, so we don't actually have you on our list of doing anything wrong, but um, you're getting arrested anyway, because... The Empire are kind of dicks. Yeah, apparently. 
then again, maybe that guard is just having a really bad day and just hasn't been able to meet Quota All for right. like a while. De Dev Devil's Advocate, there. this is a public ex execution with a whole village basically kind of watching. Oh no, no, okay, no, there. He's, he's a bag of dicks. Everyone is dicks. This is Skyrim. Even the Resistance are dicks. Yeah, are you finding that more and more in games that give you like, like faction choices where it stopped being a clear case of these are the good guys and these are the bad guys and it's sort of become a more muddy everyone is dicks? Yeah. Like, often the consensus of, uh, you know, when you go like searching on forums, Google, whatnot, is that people, if they have to pick a side, they'll often side with the Empire. Because, hey, you know, there's a piece of evidence that, hey, the the uh, Dark Elves are going to probably try to invade or take over, and we're, <laughs> the uh, we're, Skyrim's going to need some kind of unity. Yeah, but, like, really, why, are the, why is the Dark Elves invading so much worse than the people in charge already? The Thalmor, that's it. Uh... I mean, this, this is going to look really just kind of bad on the window capture. It's very laggy. Oh, well. Man, I can't wait to watch this scene in VR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, And again, they do already have that guillotine simulator. I'm actually not surprised. It was like one of the first or second things that came out. And everyone was just like, why? And they're like, we wanted to know if we could, like, you know, how sick people were going to get in VR. I guess as a test, it works. Oh, you going to get a move on, buddy? No. But the legends be true. Legends don't burn down villages. Well, this conversation is great and all. Now, up through the tower. Let's go. Let's, let's just, that thing? Let's just... I don't know. A dragon? <laughs> let's just go through this like I'm a completely new player who is just following the marker. That's the intended behavior. Yeah, I don't... Like, that seems like a conversation you could have had running up the stairs. Just well, saying. it's like there's two flights and then you have the set piece. So... On the plus side... Big windows with a good view raises the property value by a lot. That's not how this area d calculates property value. It's all stone towers all the time. The more stone towers, the better. Oh. Then yeah, you're screwed. So, question, can you attack or do anything else apart from like walk around during our, the segment? Our hands are bound. Just headbutt the dragon to death. I'm sure someone's figured out a way to... Yeah. Dragon's probably immortal in this cutscene, so... Yeah, probably. I'm sure there's a mod to turn that off. Speaking of... Fun. Oh. I got... Knocked the hell over. Okay. Oh, yeah, you did. So I'm a little bit behind. Yeah, no, I know, it's stream delay. But, wow, yeah, what the hell? Oh, we get to make a preliminary choice on who we support. Either the Empire that tried to kill us, or the Resistance. Hmm. 
Well, at this point, the resistance aren't trying to stab, like, you know, cut your head off, so... Yep. Like, why even give you the choice? Yeah, that actually does seem kind of an odd choice to give you this early in the game. Like, you would think it would give you more time to sort of get to know the factions a little bit better. A tad, yeah. I blame Din. <laughs> Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. <laughs> Yay, plot armor. Great, Din. It's true. I did it. I summoned the dragon. May as well take on your gear. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Alright, the looting begins. Okay, so that's like a harbinger for the end of time. Why aren't more people doing something about it? Seems kind of weird that they're just like, Hey, you're this one guy, go deal with it. This seems like a time to raise the armies and like, murder everything kind of situation. Well... The, the main problem is that Skyrim is a political clusterfuck. No way to open this from our side. And so anyone moving an army based on legends returning is going to, you know, cause a World, World War I-esque domino effect. I guess, but like, but wouldn't the story of this place getting burned down by like dragon fire be a big thing? Well, it's medieval times, so word is only messengers. Ah, yeah, that is true. It's not like you have newspapers and credited journalists in this society. No one putting it up on, like, their vine? Yeah. Maybe one of these imperials have a key. Let's see. Ulfric sounds like a terrible person, Great Din. Absolutely awful person. I approve of his uncaring methods, though. So, what, the plan is just to dress like Imperial Guards and hope nobody notices? It's it's not really going to help, but uh, we can take their stuff. Actually, Well, it's got to be better than whatever equipment you're wearing currently. Actually, why isn't... Why is shift the walk key and not, say, the sprint key? Ah, uh, drink jokes. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, sure, because I'm going to want to use alt. What? But you love wonky control systems. There we go. Now I can waste my stamina. <laughs> Cannot remember for the life of me what game I was playing, but they made um they made shift the jump key. And then they made you double jump, so you'd hit shift a bunch of times and activate oh, sticky keys. Yeah. It was not great. <laughs> no kidding. Whoever built this dungeon did a, like, really shitty job if a dragon can break it this easily. Well, I, I don't think, at this point, architecture is very, how you say, advanced? Much less dragon I mean, uh, Yeah, I guess. I also don't understand why these Imperial Guards are, like, attacking you. It seems like they should have better things to be doing with their time. That is actually valid. Let's see. Oh, well, as long as I get one valid point every so often. Hmm. I never actually understood the point of sticky keys, I've got to be honest. I... hmm. That might... 
There might be some research to do there. It must exist for a reason. It's probably some kind of accessibility thing. Probably. I almost hit one of our guys. Would it have mattered? I don't think so, but... You should try it. Probably not. I'm not going to loot everything. Something in this age. Yeah, I think Spud tried that. From what I remember, it didn't go very well. What did I? Uh, um, Creighton says, "Who needs Google when you have the molars?" It's true. It, it just, you know, wasn't a very good basis for like a show. Ah, magic. Kryptin says, Sticky Keys is a Windows Ease of Access feature that makes it possible to use keyboard shortcuts or type capital letters without needing to press more than one key at once. Yeah, that makes Fair sense. Fair enough. Now everyone, uh, Mad the Sane says, do you need a bag of holding? To which the answer is, you always need a bag of holding. Never not need. All right. Uh, I've probably, I admit, I probably I looted this zone a hundred times. Sure, but experience. For lot picking, I guess. We get some of that. A shield on favorites. Let's do battle axe. <laughs> May stagger. Get. Oh, we know a couple of spells. I wonder. Oh yeah, we have claws. Why don't we just just let's just claw things to death for a while. You got something to say? All right. I think there's only like one of these cells that actually has anything useful. Hmm. That's interesting. There is no official table uh, tabletop game for um, the Elder Scrolls. I'm not terribly surprised. I mean, someone's probably run a game in Skyrim with a different system, but I don't know if there's really a lot that turning this into a dice game would really be good for. Well, there's a lot of lore and stuff, and I guess there's a lot of stuff you could do in a tabletop format that would be a lot harder in a sort of more visual medium like this. Um... But yeah, no, it just surprises me, because it seems like the type of world and the type of game that would just naturally have one. Uh, I mean, Fallout's got an official one, from what I remember. I don't quite know that. Many, I'm many wrong. unofficial ones. Oh, gods, yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of unofficial ones for this as well. Lots of D100 conversions. You know, have you tried D100 systems before? I I did play some unknown armies. What are they like? Um, at the early levels, incredibly frustrating. Like incredibly. Just can't hit anything, or can't really do much. That's fair. Um, 
Good job, dude. Way to run into the fire. Yeah, they're great. Uh, I don't know who decided that those like little kill cam animations were a good idea in video games, but they're a terrible person. Should feel bad. <sighs> yeah. It adds. Like, it was. It, it adds a certain le level of intensity that this combat system kind of greatly needs, but at the same time. I, I guess the advantage to this is that they don't take very long to execute. Yeah. Um, I think it was... Yes, yeah, some of the Bioshock Infinite ones I felt probably took a little bit longer than they needed to. Yeah. I don't know, the... <sighs> Doom is probably the closest anyone's gotten to getting it right, you know? Just, they're extremely short, but they have a mechanical purpose. Yeah. And that's the other thing you want, I guess, is for it to actually do something. Yeah, but here it's... Rather it's, than it's, just be showy. Yeah, it's just showy and flashy. Oh, look, hidden passages. Yay! The tiniest bit of exploration. I mean, the dungeons do get more complex later on. You'd hope, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean... It's, hey, it's, here's the boss dungeon. It's got two rooms in it. Have fun. Well, I mean, this game... This series kind of popularized the old let's go into a random dungeon and see what we can mine out of it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mining's a big thing in this game, isn't it? Well, it is, but not like that. I mean, just like, just find random things and. and treasure and enemies and stumble upon a quest line. You know, the. Dicking around school. No, that's fair. But mechanically, they signify that there are no more nearby enemies. That's actually a valid point, Din. That's that you get, yeah, get that's them. Fair. You get them on the last enemy of a group, and that lets you know that combat has ended, and gives you a little something for like, hey, now you're done. <laughs> Okay, let's scarf down yeah. some alchemy ingredients. Chomp. 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 Got all alchemy ingredients. Also known as a cheap way to get levels without actually increasing your practical skills. Yeah, that... Like, I can understand it from a technical point of view, from a story point of view, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I see. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. Yeah, it's just a bear. What could go wrong? And you can take it, but you should shoot the bear in the face. Yeah, I might as well. Go ahead. Remember all of my suggestions are good ones and you should follow them. Claw is useful. Pelt? Nah. No, well, actually, it is useful. Yeah. Wow, can, that was a... Leather later. That was easy. It's not like anything is going to put up a huge challenge here. Yeah, but they kind of made this deal about showing you this bear, and I'm like, oh, is the bear dangerous? Like, they're teaching That's... you to sneak. Is that, like, a thing? But that's kind of... That seems like it's kind of setting up players for, like, a shock later on when they go, oh, I can take this bear, and then the bear kills them. To be fair, I'm... I, I'm I know what I'm doing. And have been through this I, many, many times. But, like... It still only took, like, what, one shot from you, one shot from, um, the NPC? Yeah, the, the sneak attack bonus was, uh, pretty... pretty significant. Crappling hook onto the dragon. No, I wasn't going to shoot the dragon. I'm not that good with a bow. Well, question, could you actually...
actually have shot the dragon at that point? I think so, but I think he would have just kept on his scripted path. That's what my gut tells me. That's fair. Ah, uh, and now... The majesty of the Skyrim overworld. It's not a bad looking game, I have to admit. Yeah, it's... It's visually interesting. Yep. And it's one of those games where it's sort of, if you can see it, you can get to it, isn't it? Yep. I mean, so, like, that giant even, mountain in the even, distance. Even more than, uh, than expected, really. That's fair. Oh, that's Flux kicking in. Everything is going yellow. I can't hardly see my mouse. Din says that the dragon, I think he's talking about the dragon, he's locked in, in, he's locked in invincibility till the end of the game. Hey, Hunter, dude. Or chick, hunter chick, I'm sorry. I keep making that mistake. To be fair, you're a distance off when you said it. Yeah. Guess it's all clear now. It's not like my poach. You should fight the hunter. Take a look. Nah. But loot. You've just got pelts. Take a look. What do I have to sell? A pelt. That's all you're interested in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah. That that dragon is also the big end boss. So, and he's got a uh, plot armor. Oh yeah. No, I I agree with you, Bubbles. That um, sneak is kind of ridiculously OP in pretty much mo. In pretty much every, you know, like, role-playing game. Because once you get to a point where enemies can't see you, it kind of becomes laughably easy. I haven't actually played a pure stealth uh, character in Fallout 4 yet. I've not really gotten far enough, that is. Um, it depends on what setting you're playing. Um, I have a pure stealth character on 4 that's just in, like, normal mode. Um, and then I have a, like, her weapon is a, oh god, what is it, um, one of those tire irons with a blade attached to it, mm -hmm. that causes bleeding. You just sneak up to an enemy, hit it, like, three times, and even if it's, like, ten levels above you, it just dies from bleed damage. Mm. It's kind of ridiculous. But, like, for large encounters, doesn't stealth only get you, like, one guy and then you gotta shoot through the rest anyway? Yeah, it depends on how much hit and run you want to do. Which um, generally and I guess that's also what companions are for. That is also true. Just get eight or equip her with two, um... What are they called? Two nail guns and then just let her kill everything in the room. Yeah, I don't know if I'm really gonna... I mean, I got this for free because I have Skyrim and everything on Steam, but... To be honest, I don't know if I'm really gonna, like, make a... Make another playthrough of this. Yeah. Enough to you, I guess. You do have, like, 50,000 other projects to be working... You, you know, you're usually yeah, exa working Yeah, exactly, and I don't really need a... Need another time sink. Go see how that the men... Wait, hang on, I'm telling you to be responsible. Let me change my answer. <laughs> Do it. You don't even care about Skyrim. I don't, that's true. So, I mean, if I was going to get into Skyrim, it would probably be watching someone else play it than doing it myself. I already I already actually already tried to do a, a Skyrim run, like an Aurelia run, and I just got really bored. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you ended by a... Um, 
Did you push that guy off the mountain, or did you get pushed off the mountain? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Oh, I hate it when a writer goes, I don't know why, but I believe you. Because... What's this world coming to? That's... That's just... That's just writer code for... I don't... I'm just gonna skip this... The whole trying to convince you conversation. I just don't want to write that. To be fair... It's not exactly a fun thing to play through either. Because you know you're telling the truth, and it's really evident to everyone else that you're telling the truth, but it kind of feels like you're just going through the motions. I suppose, but you can probably convey a sort of certain sense of trust and trustworthiness without going like, well, I don't, I don't strictly speaking have enough evidence, but I guess I believe you. You can actually just say, oh, you, you are... You definitely look serious. Uh, yeah, okay. You could just do it like that. Yeah, no, no, no I guess. It, it just feels like lazy writing, not really thinking it through from even, like, if you can't go from a purely logical standpoint, go from an emotional standpoint at least. Yeah, no, it does make sense. Water's pretty. Water is always pretty. I mean, yeah. We'll take a look at that water over there. It's weird looking at water like that, because you've got to think we've come such a long way. Oh, hey, hey, like... hey. Darn crabs. Crabbing. Oh. Yeah, no, we've come um, such a long way with water effects. Except with that. Ignoring that. <laughs> but, like, the, the, the bigger, you know, ocean sort of effects are a lot nicer. It, we've, we've gotten bodies of water kind of down. Oh, man. Uh, you ever heard of slash play to hydrophobia? I have not done it's, it's either a, of those things. It's a pretty... Hey, I was having a conversation with my friend. I don't think it cares. I think it just wants hugs, and I think it wants them now. Well, I've got something resembling a hug. Anyway, it's a pretty bad sort of third-person shooter puzzle platformer thing that's independently... Yeah, uh, those, those should never go together. It, you know, trying to be a Tomb Raider or Uncharted, but also their own thing on an indie budget. It's oh yeah, it's always, can't possibly think what would go wrong with that. It's always lovely to watch, and by lovely, I mean oh, I'm sorry, guys, but here's a you tried sticker. Yep. It, it's one selling point is that there's a lot I mean it's there's a bunch of water it's like it's in a facility that is like under the ocean and being you know everything's caving in there's a bunch of water so it wants everywhere. to be Bioshock right yeah. so there's a lot of swimming involved third person swimming well, that's taken did they at least get that right it's there's Pretty bad sometimes. No. That looks totally like a thing you should try and attack. Oh, never mind. I didn't really get a chance. <laughs> I tried my best. But yeah, it's one selling point is that there's a section where you can actually control water to help with the fighting and puzzling and whatnot. But it only it's only in like the third act and then you have it for about fifteen minutes and then the game's over. But it's yeah. actually, it's actually kinda cool and the water effects are pretty compelling to watch in motion like that. But uh Yeah, no, it's just Not a great game. It's not a great game. Oh well. They tried. Certainly did.
<sighs> I know if I continue on the main quest and go up against the dragon, uh, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Because I'm nowhere near... No, wait, no, they make you go to... No, is it... no, wait. What's the order of things? Mm hmm. I haven't played this game. Have you heard of the webcomic titled Prelude? No. Also, no. What the? Remember, can you level up by killing NPCs? I mean, if you hit them, you still trigger the, the, uh, you know, experience uh, triggers for doing things. So. so you could theoretically wipe a town and level off it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's well, it's sort of, that sort of game. I know what Spud needs to start doing. Uh, maybe when I'm higher leveled. I ah, it's and fine. I stop caring. So why is there a moat with no bridge here? Somehow I Oh, prequel. Yeah. Yeah, the Khajiit comic. Oh. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business so fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, speech, the best skill to level. Speech is kind of OP. Stealth and speech. Did you see me? Did you pickpocket that guard? Not that you know. Good enough. We'll do whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't order. I don't know. It's, this is this. These beginning areas are all so much white noise now. It's just. Yeah, Clan Battleborn. I heard it. A million times before. Yeah. Hey. It'd be interesting if games, like, if they detected you'd, you'd had a finished save or a couple of finished saves, could be like, okay, we're just gonna level you to this point and drop you here. That's... that's usually called New Game Plus. Well, even most of the New Game Plus makes you start at the beginning again. Uh, some some new game pluses give let you skip a little bit of stuff. Yeah, I haven't done a lot with new game plus. I'll have to admit. Usually, if I finish the game, I I can't be asked doing new game plus. These days, well, are, the, these days, evil. definitely for me. But uh, I don't. Uh, when I was younger, I'd do new game pluses all the time. Joys of getting old and not having as much time, right? Yeah. Everyone is so hostile, and then you say dragons, and they're like, oh, right, never mind. And I have to ask, well, why were you so hostile in the first place? Because they have to be hostile to somebody. And then there's the dialogues that happen amongst other characters that can't be skipped. Yeah, but they're never important. They, they, they sort of demand that you stand around so you can be around when they call you back into interactive dialogue. Nah. Just pick whatever the first option is and it's probably the right one. I'll return to my duties. That would be oh yeah, there is a dungeon to go through first, so you can get a little bit of leveling. Here, there is. Come, let's go find Faringar. My court wisdom. Bleak falls. Was that fire the one you cheesed by just throwing spells at it? I don't know. <sighs> if I'm being. Really honest, I don't know if I, I just don't, after pl after having played through this game, I really don't like the early levels of, uh, 
of Skyrim. I don't like having to build up all over again. Yeah. It's not really a game that it's it's a game where you sort of you play one character for a very long time and, and experience everything, not you make multiple characters and uh, do it do the whole shebang multiple times. Do you feel that's because of the the like the lack of a level cap or? Well, there's a there's a sort of soft level cap, you know. After a while, skills skills become more and more difficult to build up, and the amount that they give you progression towards your actual next, you know, perk point and stat up, that gets so long that it takes like fifty individual skill ups. Did you? Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I, I don't know how I feel about like. Well, I do. I, I'm not a big fan of it, but like I, I don't really get the point of these sort of open, open level games. I guess like why don't they just pick a point and be like, that's it. You're level 100. You're done. Dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. Because there are people who really, really, really enjoy being as overleveled as possible. It's not most players, but there will be a few players who appreciate it, and most other players just won't play it long enough to get there. Well, yeah, I don't know, but I, I just find that like when it's come to like a sort of an open-ended level system. I find it harder to go back and make characters than I do if it's like a small level cap. Like take um, take for like three. Now the level cap for that was what like thirty to forty or something. It was tiny. Yeah, thirty vanilla, like forty, fifty-ish with DLC. I don't recall. Yeah, or something like that. Like, that was a level cap you could hit really easily. And by the end of the game, you were pretty much hitting that level cap. And I must have gone back and played that game half a dozen times because I'm like, okay, well, I've hit the level cap. Now I want to see if I can do it with something else. But, I don't know, with, you know, with something like this, I could be like, well, I mean, I may as well just keep playing my main character. There's no real reason to stop. Yeah. I guess and then the, I guess it, it does reduce replayability in that sense, but it also sort of lengthens an individual playthrough's time. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, does that? I think like a open level cap would work better with some for something like like an MMO or something a lot more multiplayer, a lot more like I don't want to say PvP focused, but Something with a lot more player interaction where having these ridiculously high levels is going to impact you a lot more. Well, then they made Elder Scrolls Online. So. We don't talk about Elder Scrolls Online. Well, you're, you're, you're attempting to talk about it. Um... But yeah, like, I don't know, like, for something a little bit more MMOE, I think the system works better than it does for just a, a single-player experience, but that's just me. I guess wolf belts, yay. Yeah, it's just so much stuff that I'd rather not go through the hassle again with, like, oh, wolf pelts to generate leather so I can do smithing and, ugh. Like, I'd, honest, yeah. I'd honestly just rather use, at this point, console commands to just give myself either a head start or just things I need. 
Nah, just cheat yourself to like level 10 when the game actually starts getting interesting, right? Yeah. I guess that's kind of the problem with the first like... ...little bit. You're just like, oh, yay, um... I'm, I'm kill just, 300 I'm just, bunnies. I'm just a dude with, you know, jack of all trades, master of none, with a couple bonuses and debuffs from my race, and then then it's just starting pistol go. Yeah. You really need, like, a totem or something you can activate where it's like, hey, you have a previous save game. Do you wish to level your character to level 10? Here are all your skill points. Here's a bunch of free crafting materials. Go nuts. I mean, there's a bunch of mods to sort of speed up progression. Oh, hey, there is a saddled horse just sitting here in the middle of nowhere. It's mine. It's probably evil. Because really, who would leave a perfectly good saddled horse just sitting there? Oh, sucker now. I think there was a dead body back there. Yeah. Nah, it's probably fine. I'm not sure if the horse is going much faster than you were. Well, when I get, uh, you know, sprinting, it's a bit more noticeable. Hey, oh, so that horse is really tubby. Murdering the bandit. Yep. Can you get the horse inside? Probably. Neat. And the horse just ran off. What? Sure did. Screw you, horse. I thought we were friends. <laughs> I stole you from probably a dead guy in the middle of a forest. I thought we had a bone. Hey, come on. Uh-uh, you're not getting away that easy. At least arrows are plentiful. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're looting, you'll have a small, steady stream of arrows and gold, depending on who you're fighting. That's, uh, you know, it's sort of the incentive for... Making sure you stay on top of that. Yeah, it's true. Alright, so we have a... We have a perk point. Do we? Yeah. Neat. What can we spend our perk point on? Um... The first uh, perk in any skill tree. Great. Um... What's alteration? Alteration is a, is a school of particular magics, like water breathing, certain magic shields, paralysis. Nothing we have yet. But we can put a point in it, right? Yeah, but it would be a waste of time. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Can cast Novus level alteration spells for half magicka. Done. Sweet. You should be an alteration mage. Yeah, because there's so many good alteration spells. Sorry, I forgot you were trying to min-max really hard. Sorry, I, was, I thought we were just going to play a joke character. Didn't realize that. Oh, you cannot shoot backwards on your horse. Then, Can't you? Then, That's lame. What is the point? I'll show you a real fight. Is there like a skill or something you can take for that? No, it's just, just I can only hit the front 180 degrees. 
Well, I guess. In turning around and horse horseback isn't like the easiest thing. Also, they can't kill the horse, right? Oh, they can. So Otherwise, the horse isn't invincible? No. The horse has health, oh. but the thing is that I'm not taking damage right now. Oh, the horse just got shot in the butt. Sure did. Poor horse butt. This also seems significantly less effective than your, like, hitting them with your mace. Yeah. Oh! Almost fell into the sub-ocean there. That would've been bad. Come on, stop chasing behind me. I need to turn around and hit you. Oh. I keep sinking. Also probably bad. It's not like these guys have much health. I'm also probably playing on a lower difficulty setting, maybe like Apprentice. So it's not like anyone's going to be giving me a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, that's fair. Well, there you go. Alteration apparently lets you turn iron to gold. That seems like a useful skill. So what's the backstory for this character, Spud? Uh, George is a Khajiit who was just caught stealing apples, but it turns out he's like it. but it turns out he's secretly the Dragonborn. Hmm. Yep. No, I like it. I don't. George the Khajiit, the most OP Khajiit. George, in George, George of the jungle. Man, that's something I haven't heard in a while. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> what was that? What was what? Something just flew. Oof, right in the heart. Shot through the heart. Oh, what is that? Nice. He just wanted to save money. Now he has to save the world coming this fall. <laughs> nice. <dude. laughs> oh, hey, we can. We have, now have a woodcutter's axe, so we can cut wood. It's as exciting, as useful, and as it sounds. Do you mean we can turn this into a, like just a three hour woodcutting stream? Oh, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I don't know if they have, like, a stump here. I don't know if there's a proper wood-cutting spot for it. It might not be, actually. They, the axe just might be here because they brought in wood from outside and they just set the axe there. No. Oh. So that could have been uh, Spud's next, like, big thing. You can sit there and cut wooden Skyrim, and then you interview people at the same time. Be like what Will Crandall does when he fishes in WoW. Hmm. I'm not sure what the like the the grind equivalent for me would be. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if people would be interested in my type of grinding. So, which would probably be, I don't know. Warframe Void stuff. How is your Warframe game going? I actually haven't touched it in a little while. I just haven't really been interested in putting in the time to do the requisite grinding to get the most recent Warframes. I mean, That's I, fair. I mean, I've still got all my stuff, and for that I'm really happy, but I'm happy with the stuff I've got, and... I don't know. Don't feel the need to keep going at the moment. Yeah. You don't see me. Okay. 
I told him. Oh, there was that stream of an intersection in a small town. That's not really the same. That was notable for a really dumb reason, but still. Wait, I, I don't know this story. Tell um, me the story. Someone just put like a like a closed circuit uh, uh, footage from like a random city intersection and put it on a stream where everybody could, you know, comment on it. And why people got really enthusiastic about it because it was funny. And the more it and the more people got like overly enthusiastic, the funnier it got. Um Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, one of those things that just kind of sort of takes off and doesn't stop. You mean like Twitch plays Pokemon? Twitch okay, I'm I will actually defend Twitch Play as Pokemon because that was that was insane to be part of when things when things happened in it. Like it was just extremely fascinating to watch. It sounds like a social experiment, kinda, yeah. Like any decent notable little meme, there's a sort of something to it from a social perspective. A scroll of fireball. Why on earth would you need that? Uh, probably for boss coming up. Maybe. Bye, Dan. See you when you get back. If you get back before we're done. I don't know if I'll play this for too much longer. I mean, I mean, <laughs> three hours we've, later. We've, damn we've, you, we've, Cave. We've thoroughly established at this point that this is surprise, surprise. Still Skyrim, just with not even that fresh a cone of paint. If we're being honest. Yeah, it's true. Uh Nick, you're a bad person. You over here. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. It's coming loose. Wow, that looked um real exciting. Yeah, that Why should I share the I mean, yeah, you you were struggling. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's gonna die. Just cause? No, oh, he's gonna run into a trap in his hubris. Oh, right, yeah, that's the guy who betrays you. Well, Sorry, net playing this bit. As you chase him, she these, like, these Draugr wake Show up. me where the thing is, and he was like, okay, and then he killed himself. Whoa, hey. Now, why did you stop? And now, the Golden Claw. Whoa, hang on. Yeah, wasn't he meant to die in that trap? He didn't. That was weird. Spud, did you break Skyrim? <laughs> Already? Probably. Nice. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I will admit, from the sort of battle finisher point of view, I actually do kind of like the uh, the combat animations because it is sort of like, okay, no one else is aggroed. That's good to know. Ooh, level up. Yep. So we got another thing? Yeah, another perk point. Cool, let's put in an alteration again. No, I can't. I don't have. Oh. I haven't raised alteration enough to 
to uh, to qualify for even the next level of the basic perk, let alone any of the higher perks. Oh. It's all dependent on your level of skill. So how come you can't play as a Draugr? They seem cool. Because they're zombies that are only now showing up because of the return of the dragons. Okay, yeah, that's fair, I guess. So the, what, like, dragon disciple things? Maybe. I don't fully know. And speaking of dragon disciples, do you remember that cult? Oh yeah, man, that's that's a that was a ways back. Yeah, I know, right? Ah, dragon cult. Gotta love it. Do you? I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was it was fun. Still waiting on your next ones, but yeah, no pressure. But my plan to get, to, like my plan so far to get into all of the role playing things you're doing is working out pretty well for me. Well, it's been a been a shallow field so far, so. Shh. That came Stop that, that that came across as more of a burn than I wanted it to be. Uh, I see what you did there. Burn. Setting those guys on fire. Well done. I'm just all about the unintentional wordplay tonight. Apparently. But, you know, it's there's only been a few uh, people for the spud shots on a regular basis so far. For the two, one of which you haven't had yet, so... Sure, but so far I've managed to get into all of them. That's so true. I'm calling that a win. And if I can get into your next butt shot, hat trick. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and Spot's already just sitting there making notes like, do not let cute listen in next game. It's like, ah. Let's see. And on the plus side, you've almost got enough money to start running um, two games. Uh, almost is a strong word. Getting, making your uh, pledges go up on Patreon is a very difficult process. Oh, oh yeah. But if you run two games, that's twice as many games as I can get into. Yes. Uh, many more games to organize. Yeah. yeah. But hey, you've been doing a good job so far. So whatever you're doing seems to be working. Except for the part where everybody in the world got sick the you know, first thing in October. Yeah, but... Not much anyone could do about that, really. Yeah. That just sucked. Yeah, it wasn't great. It just kind of... Ah, it was like head cold for the first week. And then the next weekend was just unbelievable stomach pain. Yeah. Yeah, nothing fun. But hey, I got a free Skyrim, so whatever. Yay! Free games. Well, I mean, it's it was the game I had, but. They were like, hey, have this thing because you're probably not going to buy it yourself anyway, so I guess just have it. So that you have an it's excuse to... this thing we put some amount of work into, have it for free. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to buy all the DLC again? No, it's, it's all included. Oh. I, I don't get what this was for from a business perspective. Generate interest in the Elder Scrolls property again. Did did the elders did people lose interest in the Elder Scrolls property? <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah. Then, as far as from business perspective, I can't see the point. I'm guessing mainly to take the uh, 
whatever improvements they made to the engine through uh, Fallout 4 and apply them to Skyrim. So that it looks as pretty as... Yeah, it, it, as as a business asset for uh, for a game publisher, it looks as it looks as pretty as the current stuff. Yeah, that's fair. That's kind of what it comes down to. I'm pretty sure if Spud spent the rest of his life DMing for a living. And was actually making, you know, a decent living out of it. That wouldn't be too awful. It wouldn't. Problem is, I'm not making a decent living yet, and so I worry myself with many other things. Which have all been pretty good so far. Uh, it's, it's a lot of flailing, but I guess I'm sort of hanging in there. Okay. Definitely gonna want to drop these things. I know. I mean, I guess it's a really a lot of failing, flip that failing, a lot of flailing for everyone. I mean, you're self-employed, which is always good. Yeah, it's it has its perks and its downsides. The comic's going well. It is, yeah, it's still going fairly strong. Which I'm definitely happy about. Hmm. Speaking of the comic, you know who I haven't heard from recently? Like, you know who hasn't commented recently? Raxon. Yeah, he's uh, kinda. Yeah, just kinda. Spanish. Stopped, stopped. Which, you know, people do. Uh, web comics, yeah. uh, web comics a hell of a, a thing, a hell of a thing to stay on for. Years and years, you know, keep trying to be like a guy in it in the in that sort of community. That is true. I, I, I just sort of I get it. Oh yeah, no, it's not like a. It's not like a mandatory. You have to keep doing this for the rest of your life thing. Yeah, no, it was just surprising because it was like. One of I, I I guess when I found it, Raxon was um Raxon was there. Fair so he's like sort of always been there since I've been there. So it's weird to see him not there. If that makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. Scrolls. Let's learn some words. Oh, words. And also just burn these scrolls on this guy. Yeah, you don't need it for him. you don't need them for anything, right? I'm sorry I can't hear you over this blizzard. That worked just fine. Hunting Bowl of Souls. That sounds like a very Zencon weapon. <laughs> What's the Hunting Bow of Souls do? Uh, the Hunting Bow of Souls 
if a target dies within three seconds of the enchantment taking uh, place, uh, fill, a, fill a soul gem. Oh. Cool. What do soul gems do? Soul gems are used to basically refresh your batteries on equipment, uh, enchanted equipment. So, if the damage and wasn't so terrible, it would actually be a really good weapon? Yeah. I mean, it would basically, you know, pay for itself in a certain sense. Man, I miss Fid. I'm happy to have it done. I'm I'm pretty happy. It got it got it a little rocky towards the end to to keep it going. Oh yeah, no. It, I mean it wasn't wasn't perfect in any way. But man, it was still fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, the the group just mostly worked together, and we made a we made a hell of a story together. You know, That's, we did that. It's you know not often that a campaign can get that sort of epic length and reach a conclusion. Yeah, I've been trying to find um good campaign stuff to listen to, but a lot of it's super unended. So super what? Like, open and ended and ongoing. Like, uh, it's hard to find something that's just a length and done. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 kind of exactly you know why I I wanted to have an ending. You know, it's so that it's not like one of those things that just goes on forever and no one really wants to join in because it's just it just doesn't end. Yeah. But still long enough to be like, yeah, this was a this was a journey with a lot of stuff in it. No, I def yeah, I mean, that definitely makes sense. I'm, I and in that way, yeah, I, I agree. I'm probably it. I'm probably glad it's over. But yeah, it's it's hard to just get unattached from that kind of character that you've been playing for so long. Yeah, I guess yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've only, I've actually only ever been a player for that long of a campaign once, and with with a single character once. I mean, and pretty much every other time I've been a part of a campaign that long, it's been as a DM. Yeah. Oh, hello. How are you? What character did you end up playing? It was like an illusionist wizard. It was my first D and D foray. Ah, nice. It's tough. Just, I get so lonely out here. It's so nice to have Got any cool stories? Um, I don't know. Nothing I haven't already in, kind of incorporated into into comic and whatnot. Oh, hello. You have a cellar. What's in your house? Because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm just a lonely old woman. I certainly don't have a death dungeon. I don't know, the way you said that makes me think she might have a death dungeon. Um, sure. Yeah, let's just start a coven of witches. Why not? Eh, you're wrong. Like, worst comes to worst, someone hunts you down and murders you. On the other side, really good mystical powers. She seems angry about something. Yeah, I don't couldn't possibly know why. Like it wasn't even a question of um you know, here, let me like you know, let's discuss this like rational people. Nope. Fireball to the face. Oh. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. Something seems fishy. 
Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Is it fish? A hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. Um, if fish have tusks. Fine. If you can't pay they gold, might. Pay Depends on the fish. I guess I'm going two-handed. I'm not sure how that benefits these guys in the slightest. Yeah, it kind of runs on people having the idiot ball. Then again, I guess, like, they have, like, a mage. And I guess if that the same sort of leveling system applies to the NPCs as it applies to you, just randomly murdering you makes a lot more sense. <laughs> now there's a naked imperial soldier here to kind of tell the rest of that story yep so yeah they were definitely highwaymen or highway orcs or whatever still this great sort of cold is really kicking ass it looks pretty cool yeah I mean check this out You should use it to hunt rabbits. Oh, absolutely. Actually, I, I was, what else I, would you I, use? I, I use I use the bowl of souls to steal a rabbit's soul and put it in a petty soul gem. Because why? That not? makes a lot of sense. I mean, free soul gems, right? Yeah. So, two-handed archery alteration. Who knows? That sounds like an absolutely amazing plan. You should do that. So, you should put your next point in archery. Or two-handed, I guess. Not like stir. Uh, we've been going at this for an hour and a half, and it's basically just Skyrim, so... Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> I mean, if I have, like, some time for you, I might mess around with this, but, like, I have no investment anymore in... Like, I did everything. All the DLC stuff. All a bunch of the quest stuff, the faction stuff. I don't feel the need to go through it again. I don't think anyone else feels the need to watch it again, unless I find a way to make this super interesting, which, spoilers... <laughs> Have you met me? Yes. Have you watched me well, play, play these long streams? Yes. I mean, the most interesting one of these got was the Aurelia New Vegas run, where it was just sprint to the end. Oh, crap, we can't actually be... What's his name? Like Atlantis. Didn't you end up, like, just throwing mines at him until he died? No, no, I I actually just went and did the Old World Blues DLC. <laughs> I'm pretty... Didn't you kill him, there? Not the first time, but when I went back with, uh, with the Plasma Caster and the, the Stealth Suit. Gotta love the Stealth Suit. Yeah, it was a really good look for Aurelia, too. It was real good. And then I tried to recapture... Yeah, but more, um... More, uh, FID, um, FID NPC flat runs. I want to get back into Fallout 4 with some mods, maybe, but, I don't know. I, what I really want to do is play around with the creation kit, because I think that's out now, and try and find a, a way to mod Fallout 4 so that you can swap between different builds, different quote-unquote characters, at will and what have their um and, and be able to basically just play a bunch of npcs that way or, f or fit npcs and what have like a uh, your new you know your new group go through yeah that could be interesting or, i'm not or sure do, how you... or do like chica and chase and uh torque just just and then just kind of switch between them 
but not like oh, you know, not like as separate playthroughs, but as one playthrough where they share experience. Yeah, could be interesting. That's 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 the mod I really I've wanted since like the beginning, and feel like I'm the only one who's actually gonna actually wants to make it. I'm not sure how you do it. I'm. I'm you would have to. It basically you'd be grabbing it and storing a lot of external data, including face data. Which yeah, like I guess if you yeah. Um, they do have that new weird multiplayer mod for New Vegas, if you want to give that a go. The, that's like still like a very limited alpha in terms of access. And oh, yeah, it is too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to get enough people to do like a public game of that. Well, I mean, isn't it only like two people on a server? Yeah, and... Yeah, basically. Because I'd play that with you. I Absolutely. yeah. I I just I I'm next to certain they are nowhere near ironing out any of the kinks. Much less. Oh yeah. Much, I don't much think less trying, ever, I, I, Much less trying to do like a playthrough like that. I I don't actually think they're ever going to get to a point where they iron out all the kinks. I don't think it's possible just because of the like the engine they run they're trying to run it with as well. Because yeah, yeah, New they're, Vegas they're, on its own is buggy as shit. Yeah, and then you then you try to mod it to do something it was never really built for. I'm curious about how they've got um, what is it? Vats to work. That is definitely a problem. New Vegas multiplayer. Man, there's like two different multiplayer mods. That'll be a question for another time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Steam just gave me this for free. I wanted to... Examine it? Yeah, hey, Dread. Welcome hey, to the welcome. end, because I'm my computer's yeah. running very hot, and it's time to bring this to an okay. end. Okay. So, fairly well, everybody. That Thanks for watching. If thanks can, for playing. If I can convince my mouse to actually appear outside the window. There we go. But yeah, Bethesda well, games. I am just kind of exhausted. Tired.